going? Let me tell you, when it's time for you to cast your vote, show them that you are wiser. My name is Julieta Sante. I'm the writer, director, executive producer of Silver Rain. Two things top our agenda. Getting rid of those thieves and getting the city clean. The story is great. I have been blessed with amazing actors, people who've brought real dedication to the set and people who've taken time to understand the characters and work at achieving the best. What makes this the story a bit different and what I like about it is it, it touches on quite a couple of controversial subjects. Um, for example, like it's got it's got some political aspects to it. Even on some social subjects, it touches up on. Almost looked into camera there. Yeah, almost. Don't look You almost. It's actually just a. It's got a wide range of of uh, topics in which the story kind of covers. You know. What do you want from my son? Sir, please. Well, My name is Enyi Nwigwe. I'm an actor from Nigeria. Uh, I'm playing a character called Bruce. Uh, it's a bit of a uh, social inequality. It shows that angle of uh, the society without making that the subject. So uh, Bruce kind of like uh, finds himself moving from the aff life of affluence that uh, he's used to and kind of like uh, progressively getting involved with a life of uh, necessitousness, put it that way, some, you know, the poor, yeah, so you see his journey going from high and mighty to understanding the realities of life. This is a pan-African production and so Silver Rain has casted from almost five African countries, Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa and another African country. <laughs> Uh, the culture between Nigeria and Ghana isn't so much. The difference, cultural difference isn't that much, but uh, yeah, the food. I'm also a food person. I love to cook, I love to eat good food, local food. And I've had, I, my first time here, I tried Banku and tilapia. I've tried the uh, Kenke. We are shooting partly here and partly in South Africa. So uh, it's been awesome. Art is universal. So uh, when it concerns creativity and talent, you learn to blend all elements that you can. So naturally, you should be able to quickly take in things and become. It's only when we're upset that I remember some of these people are from other parts of Africa and not the same, you know, zone, West Africa, you know, South Africa, East Africa. On set, we are one. It's universal, it's art, it's creativity, you know. So our offset, we we make fun of ourselves and our various accents, you know, like, hey, hey, Charlie. <laughs> well, workers, small beggars. I want to be a hairdresser. Hey. Yes. Hairdresser. Yes. My main work on Silver Rain is to transform some characters, to transform them from what they are not to what we want them to be to suit the story. Trying to achieve what we've been trying to achieve has been tough, I won't lie. I mean, the difference is that we are dedicated and everyone is working to achieve it. Oh, Nate, this is beautiful. Look at that. You know, I'll just get one more. Just Trying to cast from all of these African countries has been really difficult. Uh, trying to have access, understanding how the industry works. You know, a lot of actors work with agents, trying to go through the agents to get the actors to read the script. 
um, their, how much they charge, their fees, uh, they have to travel here, their airfare, um, trying to get the right people, get to the right people. Um, sometimes we have to interview a lot of people and we are doing it long distance and we have to have agents in every country trying to cast. We have two people from Nigeria, we have two people from Kenya, uh, trying to get the South African. I mean, three times we've had an actor miss their flight from South Africa and then decided, oh, um, you know, something came up and then they couldn't just get on the flight and we had to get somebody else. Um, or, you know, so many things have gone, um, have been difficult and challenging. I think the difference is that we've been committed to achieving what um, we have set out to achieve. This is the only party that thinks about the people. I did some effects um, that's the sore, sore injury kind of thing on her back and I had to make sure it looked exactly as they were shooting with the lighting temperature and everything in the room so that it wouldn't have any different look and all that I had to be finding the artist all the time and all that it was it's been it's been very <laughs> There's this particular time when um, my crew came to me, my um, casting director, she said, Julia, do you want to change this, change this character and make them a Ghanaian because it's been so tough. And I said to her, listen, we've, we've done it this far. Don't give up when you're almost at the finish line. Get me a South African and get me a South African in Ghana. Get them to come to Ghana, get them on the flight. And we've been running all around Ghana, shooting different scenes. Sometimes we even go to like far locations and to extreme locations just for like one scene, you know? So it's been interesting to see a lot of Ghana as well. Three months. Working with Julia Asante has actually been a very good experience because um, you learn new things working on every production. And because of the diversity of this movie, uh, we've had to work on different sets, different locations, and create lots of special effects as well. It's been a really great experience. I see you try to take it like first time. It's actually a very good production, and um, with the sort of cast we have, you know, it, it gives us a bit of diversity. We also have to create the sets differently because it's not your usual sets that you find. So the sets and props even though they've been a bit challenging to, to produce, we've still managed to get that to make the movie quite an exciting story. With privilege comes responsibility. What am I doing? Working with um, characters from South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, it's not easy. You know, they are, they are different people from different backgrounds with different characters all together. If it was to be, Ghanaians, then I maybe I know how to go about. But these people are coming from different backgrounds, our food different, language different, or let's say we have one common language, but our attitude are different. I've been to a lot of hoodie areas okay. in SA and like in, in Lagos, and like I've been to a lot of pretty ghetto areas. The the most challenging area was, uh, what's that area called? Suga... No, Sugaman Gondor or something like that. I don't know if you know that place. <laughs> We're shooting in that area. I mean, it was, it was, I mean, it's, I've been to a lot of like ghettos and I've been to a lot of hood areas all over Africa, in Nigeria, in South Africa, in Johannesburg. Um, but that area was a very eye-opening experience for me. I, I don't know, I think it was just a mix of, of the type of cultures out there and the people and uh, like it was, it was a bit grungy, but which, which I think, which I think will come out looking great on camera, you know, but it was a bit, just a very eye-opening experience to see that type of lifestyle. So, I mean, I enjoyed it and it was also just another perspective for me. It is um, a social issue. Touching lives. 
you have a boyfriend? This is my home. That those people, most of them, they have, they have ambitions. They are not relaxed at where they are. It is not their fault to be at where they are, but it is situations. Well, workers, not beggars. I want to be a hairdresser. E. Yes. Hairdresser. Yes. Um, we have our DOP come from South Africa. He's really, really fantastic. He's done some great productions. He kind of also brought a lot of training to the crew and, and um, a lot of expertise and expectations that we had to meet to be able to achieve the kind of picture quality that we set out to achieve. And so it's been a lot of working together. I'm happy with the uh, director of photography, DOP, because in, even though we, we met for the first time on this production, we, we really work well together. Um, I really just explained my vision to him and we talked, we had a long chat. And he kind of got me and as of now, we are at the point where I don't even have to talk a lot. I just say, this is what I want. I start to describe it and he says, I got you, I got you, got your back. And then he really gives me what I'm looking for and more. So I couldn't have asked for a better crew. I mean, my um, makeup artist, you know, a few times I said to her, I want this look, I want this makeup, I want to achieve this. And she, she brings it to the table and more. And, and I go, wow. Every member of my crew has been fantastic. I, I have to say so. Um, even those who came to this saying to me that I don't have so much experience, they came to this experience um, with the willingness of spirit to learn. And I think that this has been a learning process for everyone, including myself, I must say. You should watch where you're going. Let me tell you, when it's time for you to cast your vote, show them that you are wiser. Two things stop our agenda. Getting rid of those thieves and getting the city clean. What do you want from my son? Sir, please. We're well, workers, not beggars. I want to be a hairdresser. E. Yes. Hairdresser. Yes. Responsibility. What am I doing? Do you have a boyfriend? This is my home. This is the life that I know. I'm not like you, Ajua. Let's have some tea.